Race number seven on the program at Happy Valley. Nine races on the card, of course. This is the first leg of the treble class for over the 1,200 metres. Field is headed by Mighty Valor, a two-time winner. That's over the 1,200 metres, though, at uh, Chartin. Excellent Piers last start, course and distance. We've got a debutant in the field. Holy moly for David Hayes. Where's Blinkers for his first start? The hood comes off. See you again. He was beaten favourite last time out, wearing the headgear. Lucky Ruby, two-time winner over the trip, but both those wins on the all-weather. Sugar Sugar, who was fourth and fifth on his last two starts. Sixth generation, possible speed from him from Barrier 4 and the good deal. He's on a good mark, potentially 40, so he's eligible for Class 5 as well, Tom. Yes, he is, and Sir Mighty Vela uh, might go forward to here. That's his normal racing uh, style, and he did that in a recent Barrier trial at Happy Valley. He jumped really fast out of the gates and uh, won easily. Uh, see you again. Normally, you can be relatively handy. Excellent pairs had the perfect run on the trail. Looks like that uh, sort of scenario looks to play out here again. And then Lucky Ruby, Utopia Life for uh, Paul. A couple of horses that mainly enjoy racing on the all-weather. Yeah, exactly. In the sixth generation, like he, he's coming back to 1,200. He, did run 16.50. Holy moly, has been a slightly slow out in a few of his starts, uh, trial starts as well. So we'll see where he ends up. He's 12.05 on debut with Blinkers. OK, well, we'll have a look at uh, one of Holy Moly's uh, trials in a moment. So we'll start off, though, with uh, excellent Sir Piers. He was a last start course and distance winner off an inside gate, which was barrier two again on Wednesday night. Joe, excellent Piers. Uh, it was quite impressive last time and draws another nice barrier on Wednesday night. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hopefully he repeats what he's done last time. He, he began very well, placed himself in a striking sport. He, he should have every chance from there once again. He's got seven pounds more to carry. Naturally, the, the handicap is going to penalise him. Do, do you feel he's, he's still a horse that has got that progression to go forward and carry that forward? Uh, he definitely can improve. Uh, I wouldn't be saying that um, he has improved from his last race to this one because it's such a short period yeah. of time, but he's got everything to do so. so I'm hoping that the handicap hasn't done him quite yet, mm. but that's their job. Um, but at the same time, I'm quite confident that he's, he's more than capable to win in the class in the, in the rate that he is at the moment. And I believe he's going to be an even higher rated kind of a horse for the, for the near future. Yeah, he looks like he might have a bit to play with, obviously 56 rated. I mean, it's a case of threes. This is your third ride, Frankie's third run. And he wears the, the hood and cross noseband for the third time as well. So Frankie's done a good job with this fellow since he's had Oh, yeah. So listen, um, he used to be a little bit cranky in the gate. A couple of trials, he missed the start. Um, the first time I rode him at the races, he didn't begin very well, but with the gears on and knowing him a little bit better, he started doing things obviously better. Um, and I I'm honestly expect him to do what he's done last time, which is go very straight forward. He looks like a leading chance in what looks a winnable race. You and Frankie, obviously, no strangers to teaming up for success. We saw you trial Master 8 here this morning. Um, Look, it was a depleted trial, just the three of them, but he, um, he won it well. Were you happy with him? Oh, very happy. He's, um, he seems very fresh, feels uh, sound, no problems with him at all. So he's just on the progress way to, to get back to his best fitness to go back to the races. So uh, answering your question, uh, yes, I'm extremely happy with him. And I'm not sure, obviously, of the plan. Is, is his plan going forward, perhaps the, the Premier Cup? Would that be the, the target? Uh, for it's... it's, it's, it's it's a plan that I'm not aware yet. Uh, Frankie didn't really uh, tell me the name of the race or which race he's actually going to run at. But uh, I guess soon we're going to find out and hopefully some, uh, hopefully I can ride him because he, he's a horse that I had a bit of uh, success together. So I guess um, we, w we should want to ride him once again, I guess. That's Nick Child out at track work, catching up uh, with Joe there. But excellent Piers, got to be a big player here. But uh, what about, uh, Tom, we have a look at... Well, Master of Luck, this was his second start. He's finished down the field again. But see you again. He was favourite for this behind Charming Steve. It's been a bit costly, has uh, see you again. I thought he would have won a race by again now. He raced a little awkwardly into that first turn near the 1,000 metres, wanted to get his head up and run around a, a little bit and was a bit keen. But he, he still kept coming here, Paul, but I thought he might have uh, scored by now. Yeah, he's been single figures his last four starts, including beaten favourite. Uh, look, I've, got, I've included him because there is ability there. Mm. They tried the hood on him last time. It's come straight off. See if that makes um, any sort of difference to him. Now, Paul, the debutante, holy moly, a Vancouver three-year-old for David Hayes. Yeah, so Blinkers on. He's had six trials. He's been slow away in his trials, but he's definitely improved with the Blinkers on in his last couple of trials. He's 12.05 pounds. This is one of the trials where he is wearing those Blinkers. And, uh, look, he, he ran quite nicely as well. He's drawn ideally on barrier number three. It's very hard to see how some of these horses are going to go on debut under lights. 
Like, I'm, I'm happy just to watch him in this. Has had the one Happy Valley uh, trial. Zach's been on board for the last two trials. He was a, a $90,000 English C. Yearling, who trialled up at Rose Hill prior to uh, arriving here and ran second in that uh, trial. Um, gate speed's been a little bit slow, a couple of them. OK, Luke Curry will ride him from barrier number three. Uh, we're still at the trials uh, here, Tom, as well, to have a look at uh, Mighty Valley. And this is trialling at Happy Valley as well. He looked good in this trial, I thought. He pinged the gates. Uh, he's had a slight freshen up. He's had a lame left hind uh, issue. His last one came off 57. He's marked around that now on uh, 58. And it was quite an easy trial from him, uh, Paul. And Lyle Hewitson will ride from uh, the front. We know he can be dangerous there. Yeah, and he's won off a similar rating as well. He's won off 57. He's now rated 58. Uh, and his second start back in Class 4 in the back of that trial. If he gets to the front, I think it'd be hard to beat. Mm. It's only two starts at Happy Valley. Didn't place on either, but um, it's not enough to judge him on, I don't think. Um, probably no surprise, the excellent Piers favourite again. Yeah, I'm just going to go Mighty Valley to beat him. I just thought he'd be out in front and he can dictate. So he's on top from uh, excellent Piers. He's got uh, plenty of credentials. We heard from uh, Joe there, and it was a nice win from him last time. See you again, as we mentioned. Look, Utopia Life, he's been placed a couple of times at um, Happy Valley, both times at really big prices. Uh, I thought the field dropped away quite quickly, so he goes in there for fourth. One, two, five, and three. Very similar numbers, one, two, five, and four, but uh, going the each way, your price uh, here about uh, Mighty Valor at 8.4 into 3.5. If he stays, that will be happy. Uh, Mighty Valor, good trial coming in too with this, off a similar rating to what his last one off. Excellent peers, favourite at the moment, probably the horse to beat. See you again, will take uh, money again, and he's been consistent without winning. I'll throw in the newcomer, uh, Holy Moly, and uh, he's trained by uh, David Hayes. Uh, last couple of trials certainly weren't bad. One, two, five, and four. Probably appropriate we finished off with that trial of Mighty Valor because I've got him on top as well. Same four numbers as Tom. One, two, five, and I agree with Paul, sort of dropped away a bit after that, so the debutant gets in. That's race number seven, a class four over the 1200.